All right, guys, I'm gonna film. I'm still filming in my car, uh, but my camera's getting a little warm, so I'm hoping this works out. All right, guys, today I am here and I am talking all things middle school science. I am filming this in the same day also from my car. But yes, I'm hoping that you guys have already seen my video on how I choose my curriculum, and then this will all make more sense. So go watch that one first if you haven't seen that one yet. If you have, you're in the right place. All right, guys, my name is Shauna, and if you are new here, this is Making Everyday Magic, where we come here and we share secular curriculum choices and homeschool life and what we are doing along the way, which today is filming from my minivan. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I am still sitting in my car. This is the fourth video I filmed sitting in my car because, well, that just is how it's working out, okay? It's how it's working. I hope you don't mind, but if you do, I'm so sorry. This might not be the channel for you. If you don't mind, hey, this is my fan. Okay, so I already talked about how I choose um, homeschool curriculum because I don't know if I've ever actually articulated that like in steps and thoughts because I don't know if I've ever actually thought that through. But I finally did, so that. Um, I have come here, I've been asking about middle school science. So I have a daughter who is going into sixth grade. We have done several things up to now. We used a Texas Tech-based program, then we used the Building Blocks of Science. Building, building Blocks of Science, it comes in the Timber Turtle Kits, didn't love it. We did Generation Genius. This past year, we've moved on to Mystery Science, and coming up is middle school. So mystery science doesn't go into middle school. I could stretch it again. Sure. Of course. Okay. Um, but we will still have it because my younger loves it. And so in looking at middle school science options, let me just tell you, I know that I want something that has a video component because my daughter absolutely loves it. So I have found that especially middle school and high school, a lot of things change so much. It's like they're not fun anymore. They're not colorful anymore. They're not engaging. They're not entertaining. And that's what she wants. So if that's what she wants and we know that that works for us, I am going to search it out to the ends of the earth if that is what it takes. So I know that looking at the format that we know already works for us in our home is the right way to do this. So I do not want a uh, textbook workbook situation. I don't want that. I want something that's got the hyperlinks. I want something that's got the videos. I want something that's got a little razzle dazzle, a little, little theme song or a sparkly jacket or, or whatever. I know that that is what I want. Okay. So that is what I'm looking for. So if your suggestion is, oh, this thing is amazing. If it's just a textbook, it's not going to work for us. I'm not going to use it. That's not what she wants. I'm not going to start there. So I've gotten so many recommendations. I have an entire list here and I'm going to run down what I am looking at. I'm going to try to move my head over and insert what I'm looking at. I'm going to screen record on my phone. I know I'm getting all real, all real fancy here, uh, but I'm going to try to screen record on my phone and then just kind of narrate through what I'm talking about and looking at for you. So I've got a whole list and then at the end, I'm going to tell you what my plan is. Okay. So that's my plan. So let's look at Generation Genius. So Generation Genius does go through, can I even type and talk? No, I can't even type and talk. Okay. Generation Genius does go through middle school. Now, if you have not looked recently, I do have an entire video on why we chose Mystery Science instead of Generation Genius. And that is because it aligns with the NTSA, what, STA, whatever the letters are public school science. And so what they have is what they will have. They have no intent of expanding, no intent of broadening that. So for sixth grade, because we have used it recently, the cost is not, in my opinion, very high or crazy. Um, it is, let's see, science only just for home is $95. So I don't think that's crazy. I like the virtual experiments. I like that it's easy to use. I like that it's easy to implement. However, we have recently used it. So that's not it, that's not it for us, but it is a great solution. If you um, aren't sure what you want or what you're looking at, it is a great solution. So something else that I have heard just an absolute flipping ton about is Science Mom, okay? Nope, I clicked the wrong one. Hang on y'all, I've gone the wrong one. Let's try the right one, here we go. Okay, Science Mom. Science mom and math dad. So I've heard great things. I've heard amazing things. I've heard that these are so good, that the courses are so amazing. 
what I did, because I thought that this would be the answer, I went in and I looked at, I think we did biology. The courses are, I think, a reasonable cost. We went in, you can get all the information on their website. I went in and we watched the first video. I have to tell you, I did not care for the format. Nothing against that, and it might work for everybody else. I did not care for the format. My daughter didn't love the format. The videos are very long. They're like 45 minutes long. And on top of that, most of what I saw in the video was not necessary. It's like a lot of banter. It's a lot of chatting. It's a lot of answering questions, polling on the screen, none of which is really relevant to the science lesson. And so because of that, I don't feel like it's a good fit. At this point, at this stage, I don't think that's the right answer for us. Hang on, the camera's getting hot again, people. Okay, we're gonna try to get through the next 10 minutes of this video um, without needing to do that again. I'm hoping it works. Okay, I am starting the screen record again. Let's go to the next thing that I have is exploration education. Okay, so exploration education, guys, and I cannot lie to you, I am not gonna tell you that I make a good decision or a right decision, but this is my decision. And here it goes. I don't love the look of their website. Yes, sometimes I am literally that shallow. I don't love the look of their website. And for somebody who's going to teach me science, you would think that it would be a better made website. I, I just, I, that's 100%. And maybe they pour all their energy into their curriculum, which is great, but their curriculum is also like kind of expensive in my opinion. So I love it. I don't love it. So I don't think that's for us. And I think that's okay. But I am telling you, first impression, just looking at the website, it leads me to say, I don't want to look any further. 100% honesty, 100% honest answer. Um, and whether or not you want to hear that, I don't know, but that is absolutely true. And I got to be honest with you, supercharged science, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, was the exact same feeling. I know, I know. Supercharged science, I just don't love the look of it. I think I remember feeling like it was expensive. I don't love the idea of it. So because of that, I didn't feel the need to continue because, I, or maybe it was not even necessarily like video based. I don't remember what it was, but when I looked at it, I was like, mm that's not for me. And I think that's okay. I think it is okay to look at it at first glance and just be like, you know, maybe if I need it, I'll circle back. But other than that, I'm out. I am out. And I think that is a fair way to do this because there's no sense in looking at it further if I'm not. And yes, it's a hundred percent judging a book by its cover. But until the book that I judge by the cover doesn't work, there's no sense in me circling back to books I didn't like the cover of. So I know that that's I know that people are going to love that and that people are going to get offended that I don't like a thing that they like. And I don't mean to imply that, but I am just saying for me, I don't like the first glance at it. I'm not going to keep looking if that makes a lot of sense. I, I mean, I hope it does. Okay. Pandia Press. You guys know I love them. I love History Quest. I absolutely love History Quest. Real Science Odyssey. I don't like the look of that either. It's textbooky, which I don't want. I want video. I, I honestly, I don't even care how good it is. If it's, if it's amazing, but it's not a format I'm going to use, I'm not going to look at that or keep moving it. So sorry. And again, I know some people are going to get their feelings hurt that I don't love what they love, but I don't have to, and you don't have to love what I love. I'm just showing you and giving me my, giving you my thoughts. And that's okay. We don't have to agree. It really can be the best science program ever. And my kid would win a Nobel prize if they use it, but if they don't use it, it doesn't freaking matter. I know that you guys can feel me. Okay. Core knowledge. Core knowledge has free curriculum, which I love. You guys know, I love the core knowledge books. Let me see if I can get to core knowledge. Googling and talking and trying to screen record at the same time. Who, who am I? I feel so techie advanced right now. Okay, so core knowledge goes through six through eight. It like checks the boxes, but it's like a PDF. It's free, which is awesome, but it does feel like it's gonna be a little bit of work to kind of put it together and get it done. But it is free. Free is awesome. 
Everyone loves free. I can I can sacrifice a lot of things for free. I know you guys feel me on that. Okay, so core knowledge looks cool. Another one that people recommended to me, Mr. Q Science. Now, we are back to a website that was maybe designed in 1965. I don't love the look of the website, but also it looks like it's mostly print and I don't love that. Okay, so I don't love... I don't want something I have to print a lot of things. I want a video base and I know that. So I'm going to lean heavily into the things that I know I want. Now, that takes me through the recommendations that you guys have given to me. But here is what I'm going to do. Okay, so here is my plan. Here is my plan. We are going to go to Khan Academy. Khan Academy has science for middle school middle school biology okay this perfectly aligns with the state standards now do i care that we are checking the boxes for the state no that doesn't apply to me either you guys know that do i like that we're staying on track with our public school counterparts that gives me a little bit of a security so con academy their entire thing is videos that you watch and then you take a little test you get a certain amount of proficiency you move on to the next one now I feel like this is not enough. I don't want to not be raising the bar, pushing the envelope, things like that. So we will be using, in conjunction with Khan Academy, now this is where I get crazy, guys. We'll be using Brain Pop. You guys know I love Brain Pop because we can search by specific things and they, they say they're a full, I don't think they're a full curriculum. I they need to slow the roll there. But additional help add on assets absolutely so supplemental yes brain pop yes now we are also going to be using this has gone so far the other way crash course what yes they have crash course now they do have crash course kids but that's like five fifth grade and younger now crash course you can go in and you can select your courses we can go scroll down here and I can choose biology and there are so many videos that would apply so my plan is to do the Khan Academy lesson supplement with brain pop for fun and the crash course lessons now the crash course lessons are geared toward like high school AP exam prep it is not a joke. However, you guys know, I don't believe in teaching down to my children. I want to push them up. If they catch 5% of what I am throwing at them, that is a good day for me. So I think it will be fun. I like the way the videos are made. We enjoyed watching them. We will probably also be supplementing history with the crash course. Crash course is so cool. Crash course is so fun. But I know that we will be checking the boxes with the Khan Academy. I'm sorry the lighting got weird. With Khan Academy. So we will be on track with that. We will supplement with Brain Prop and Crash Course. And that is my plan. Now, don't forget that. Look at all the stuff that Crash Course has here. I'll just leave this up next side to my little face here. It's so cool, guys. It's so cool. They have like everything. It's so cool. Um, we will also be using mystery science still we'll do it together as a family with my youngest and i do intend to sign them up again for the in-person science classes at uh houston museum of natural science so we will also be doing that so we will have science check 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 now the best part of this guys the best part of this with the exception of signing up for the classes and purchasing brain pop using our brain pop subscription and our mystery science subscription all of the rest of this is free so that is absolutely amazing all of this will be free free and we can check the box. It's got the online quizzes. I am excited. So this is currently my plan for mystery science. I'm going to link everything that I'm talking about down below. Feel free to check it out. Feel free to send me the hate mail if you feel like you need to, because I didn't love the science program that you recommended to me. I did look at them. Um, and just remember, everybody has their own flavor. And mine is video based. It works for my kids, too. So don't come at me guys okay i hope maybe i definitely took your recommendations to heart and learned a little bit from you maybe you can look at my recommendations learn a little bit from me we can still be friends okay um guys that's it i hope that you found this helpful entertaining or informative if you did please scroll down hit the big red subscribe button turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up as always you can find me right on down in the comments or over on instagram at making everyday magic and yes, I'm excited. I'm going to keep you posted on how middle school science is going. But right now, this is the plan, guys. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Okay, bye.